when life curb stomps you, why not play Pikmin? Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Pikmin 3. Last time we collected even more fruit in the tropical wilds. Today, we're finally going to Twilight River. Let's check in. I'm amazed I actually remembered where Y was without looking down at my controller. I'm that forgetful. The variety of fruit on this planet is truly impressive. Sometimes I think about making a home here. It might be nice. All the juice you can drink. Do you think people would ever visit this planet on vacation? I don't know, but right now the people of Kopai are depending on us to stay on the task at hand. Er, yes, of course, Alf. I was just wondering if tourists would like it here. No harm in that. Alright, that was totally worthwhile. Anyway, let's go to Twilight River. It's gonna be rough. It is going to be rough. Because there is a lot I want to get done today. But, it can happen. God, this place just looks magnificent. Captain, the signal we followed here is definitely coming from somewhere nearby. But is it Alamar? You know, I have a good feeling about this. A captain can always sniff out when another captain is nearby. That's sort of... Gross. But well, whatever helps us find our cosmic drive key. If nothing else, we can find more fruit here. Alrighty then. So let's go ahead and call out some Pikmin. Eh, these seem to be decent enough numbers. Is that what I want to roll with? Yeah, that's what I want to roll with. There's a reason I'm not going in with like a full 100. Iridescent Flint Beetle, eh, we can leave them alone. It's, they're more hassle than what they're worth, in my opinion. I mean, you can get nectar from an Iridescent Flint Beetle, but, eh. I mean, they function just the same as they did in the previous games. You know, throw a Pikmin on them, they flip over, and they drop nectar or pellets or whatnot. You can't actually kill them. Look, there's an onion trapped in that web. Let's get over there and cut it free. All right, then. First things first. Okay. I was actually getting a little worried there. Uh, we'll leave the bodies there for a rainy day. Oh, hurry up, everybody. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Lily pads are cool. You hop on them with all your Pikmin. And if you have, like, tasks being automated, your Pikmin will automatically jump from lily pad to lily pad. You want to be careful, though, to make sure you don't leave any behind at the end of the day. Yeah, y'all can work on that. Alrighty then, and getting ready for over here because we got this jerk face. Come on. Can, can you please fall down? Um. This, this was a horrendous puffy blowhog fight. Like, he was not gonna come down for anything. Feel like I'm missing. Where, where where are you on my gamepad, Lone Pikmin? There's a yellow, right there. Okay. Well, let's see. We'll go ahead and toss some yellows right there with the captain. We'll leave these pellets here for reasons. So now you really want to be careful in here because. It's dark, and there be water dumples here. Water dumples are scary. Not really, but they can eat your Pikmin. Is this where I want to be? Yes, it is. Let there be light.
Oh, yeah. Let's get the other Pikmin away from the electricity. Yeah, there must be the water dumples. I'm not even going to worry about them. Wait, where am I going? Right here. Okay, cool. So... Yeah, okay, we'll go ahead and toss all the reds here. And... That'll work. Actually, you know what? Y'all can come back. Brittany, you can stay right there for when they come back. And as for you, Alf... Wait for it. Go here. He's gonna wait for them to finish that gate that I had him working on. Meanwhile... I have amazing aim. Okay. We're gonna have fun with bomb rocks. We're gonna get this joust might. And it's gonna be spectacular. Why is there just a why was why was there lone reds right there? I don't get that, but okay. Granted, I could have saved him, but he was like, he perfectly had the joust might just, what's the word I'm looking for here, like, just completely distracted. Okay, then. Um, well, you can just stay right there. He's almost done. I mean, he... They're almost done. There we go. Alrighty then. Um, yeah, why not? Oh, almost had a little catastrophe there. Um, rocks, please. There we go. Yeah, I'm not even going to mess with you, because you're right there on the water. But y'all can go ahead and take care of that. And then, please, we're going to be a little strategic here. He's not going to kill them. Oh no, he is going to put some of them into the water, though. That's That's no good. Everybody's safe. Uh, they, they just gotta unlodge themselves. Okay. Because this is going to be very annoying. We'll just go ahead and take you out. Nobody had to die except for you. You brought that on yourself, though. Like, I was, I was gonna let you live, but no, you had to attack my Pikmin. And what do you have to say for yourself? If it senses someone approaching, it will disguise itself as le- Oh yeah, the skitter leaves. Yeah. We've encountered them already. And the- Yeah, we can just put the rest of y'all on this. And you can wait for everybody to return. So it looks like we're all done here. Making sure I'm leaving nobody behind. We're making good time. Also, I could have sworn there is a data file somewhere around here. Yep, there we go. Dwarf Bulborb, aim for its back and for victory. A strategy that I have been doing for three games now. <laughs> Alrighty then, uh, yeah, this is the quicker way.
you get over here. Alrighty then. Might as well grab everybody, join in. And the bridge is indeed done. Thank goodness. Winged Pikmin fly! Hold your horses. We haven't even collected them yet. Sheesh. There be skitter leaves here. See? Right there. See, there was a reason they gave us that their uh, patch note. All right. Don't worry, they're gonna take care of that spider. Yep, see, easiest thing in the world. Well, now we're about to start growing some winged Pikmin. We'll just go ahead and leave the captain there. And Brittany... ...can just wait by the onion. Alrighty. Excuse me for a minute. All right, just had to plug in the gamepad. Red light came on, you know, because I still have the original battery on mine. So it has a battery life all of, you know, a good two hours. I'm exaggerating, but man, is it bad. Uh, the onion we freed from the web spawned a new type of Pikmin, one with little wings. With those wings and sunglasses, sunglasses, this guy's doing quite an impression of a pilot. All righty then. So let's grow some winged Pikmin, shall we? Oh, these plants look easy to uproot. That's something Wing Pikmin can do. Yep, see, Wing Pikmin can lift objects into the air. Probably should have kept another Pikmin or two over here to help carry stuff. Alright then. You can get started on that. That requires three. Oh, sheer grubs. Eh. They're easy enough to deal with. Uh, you could be helping out. I'm just saying, and eh, whatever. Yeah, can we just cancel that lock on? That was a little weird. I feel like I could be doing this a little more optimally, but whatever. Oh, crap. Okay, and I got seven with me. And yep, see, with Wing Pikmin, they don't gotta worry about water. And I think this is going to tell us that exactly. <laughs> oh no, uh, Arachnode, call Pikmin trapped in the web with the whistle to save them. Or you can just swarm them with a crazy amount of Pikmin and they'll die. <laughs> okay, yeah, we can throw some Pikmin on this. That's a one. Oh, that's a three. Where is them skitter leaves at? Oh crap. 
Okay, yeah, uh, we're gonna have to really hurry up here. Okay. <laughs> huh? Who's that? Hey! I remember that face! It says Dolphin. And I can't get back to- Please! I need help! Anyone! Captain Olimar! <gasps> help! I'm on top of a giant tree! Vicious creature! Please help! Before! It's back! <laughs> well, looks like Lewitt and got himself into another pickle here. How's he gonna get out of it? We'll find out soon. It's just like I said earlier, a captain can always sniff out when another captain is nearby. When we finally meet this Captain Olimar, we'll have to thank him for leaving all those data files for us. They must have... Uh, they've been most informative. Uh, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Olimar is clearly in some kind of jam and our first priority is helping him out of it. And making sure I don't leave any Pikmin behind. Olimar's signal is coming from downstream. Oh yeah, and by the way, wing Pikmin are really good to carry stuff back. Because it's like they try to take the quickest route. Yeah, uh, let's make sure we're not leaving like any Pikmin. Um. Oh no. Pikmin on the lily pads. I, I, I kind of want to try to grow more wing Pikmin, but okay. Can I get that skitter leaf in time? Oh, nectar. That's that's honestly better than a skitter leaf. A flower bloomed on the Pikmin's head. This is my first time getting nectar? Really? Okay. These creatures get stronger by the minute. Stranger, rather. I wonder what's so special about these flower Pikmin. I better spend some time observing their behavior. Really? That's my first time on the- Really? Okay. When Pikmin consume nectar, they blossom into flower Pikmin. Oh wait, why did I call them back? I'm an idiot. Um, there's nectar right there. Fine, whatever. <laughs> why, aren't, why aren't they drinking the nectar? Do I have to throw y'all? Eh, yeah, whatever. So, yeah, um, productive day. <laughs> Despite how weird it got it times I know I wasn't really like elaborating too much on what was going on but I was just trying to get to the wing Pikmin as quickly as possible so I could grow as many as possible but at least he sort of got to see how lily pads function you know just normal timed things Little rafts for your Pikmin to jump on. And you really do gotta be careful to make sure there's none on the lily pads at the end of the day. Why was... Like, I'm, I'm still confused as to why those two, like, red Pikmin were just hanging out, like, next to where that joust mite was. How did that even happen? They were carrying fragments. And yeah, they acting like they haven't seen an onion merge with an onion before. Come on now, this is like, what, the... Third time? Yeah, third time, come on now. 
Oh, you know what? This would be great for blending. We could get a nice mix of flavors. The Dapper Blob. The Lesser Mock Bottom. Not much to say there, it's fruit we already had. We worked hard today, and now it's time for our reward. Mm, I don't know, 34 canisters of juice left. And yeah, we're going to be cutting it close. We are going to be cutting it close. Alrighty then. Ooh, 37 wing Pikmin. Okay, that's... You know, a decent number to start. Still can't believe I lost that one red, but at least it was just one. I really should have tried to whistle. I was just frozen because it was like, I want to take out that Joustmite with the bomb rock, but that Pikmin could very well be caught in the explosion. I did sort of falter. Maybe it would have lived if I threw the bomb rock Pikmin sooner? I don't know, I probably could have handled that situation a lot better. Anyway, we made contact with the mysterious Captain Olimar. Ha <laughs> ha! Dramatic irony. This is the Hagatatian who we believe has been providing us with the data memos. It looks like he is in danger, though. If something happens to him, we may lose our cosmic drive key. For good! Time to call in the Kopai Calvary. Except you're not really calling anybody in, unless you're referring to yourself as the Kopai Calvary, which is kind of misleading because you're really only relying on the Pikmin to do your dirty work for you, so it would be the Pikmin Calvary, whatever. I'm just splitting hairs. A. All right, so with that, next time we're going to go back to the Twilight River and hopefully rescue, that's the word I'm looking for, Captain Olimar. You know, I mean, he sent a distress signal, so we gotta be on our Good Samaritan grind and help him out. Well, technically, it wouldn't be a Good Samaritan grind because, you know, he kind of has something we need, if that is indeed the Captain Olimar. It's not. But, you know, I mean, we kind of need the Cosmic Drive Key, so yeah, of course we gotta go save him. So, next time, on Let's Play Pigment 3, we return to Twilight River because we kind of have nowhere else to go. Well, technically, we could go back to previous places now that we have Wing Pikmin, but... I got rid of a few enemies here. Might as well just, you know, stick with the Twilight River for now. So, yeah, uh, next time, more river. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day and see you next time for some more Let's Play Pikmin 3. Goodbye. Goodbye.